Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Zundere Lagito Malingi or just for me, Teacher Zundere. A licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Magandang araw. Muli ako po si Teacher Jim. Ngayong hapon, tatalakayin po natin nagmula sa grade 7 at ang topic po natin ngayon tungkol po sa conversion of units. Let's getting started! So, paano nga ba mag-convert ng one unit to another units? So, ilan naman ito sa mga metric conversion factors na kailangan yung malalaman na kapag mag-convert kayo ng measurements, for example, Yung 1 meter is equivalent to how many centimeters? So we have 100 centimeters, right? Another one. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meter. Another. We have 1 centimeter equivalent to 10 millimeters. And another, for example, this one. In one hour, in how many minutes? So it is equivalent to, in one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. How about in one minute? Equivalent to how many seconds? So one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So those are the following measurements na dapat nating pagtuunan ng pansin. Para dito, halimbawa, number one. So una, 808 millimeter equal how many meter? So ano ang ating hinahanap? So i-convert natin ito into meters. So now, so in one meter is equivalent to what? So, in 1 meter, kung meron tayong 1 meter, is equivalent to 1,000 millimeter. Diba? Kung meron tayong 1 meter, ay equivalent po siya ng 1,000 millimeter. So, paano natin ito i-convert? So, so, 808 millimeter, ayan, i-multiply lang natin sa 1 meter over 1 meter is equivalent to how many millimeter? So, 1,000 millimeter. So, para makuha natin yung meter, i-cancel natin. Ayan, i-cancel natin yung millimeter. So, ano ang naiwan? So, ano ang naiwan dyan? So, we have, meron tayong 808 meter over 1,000. So, ngayon, paano natin ito isosolve? Okay. So, natandaan nyo ba yung uh, steps kung mag-divide tayo ng 1,000? So, mag-move tayo ng decimal to the left. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, how many zeros in 1,000? That is 3. So, mag-move tayo ng 3 decimal. So, 1, 2, 3. Kung mag-divide tayo ng 1,000, ibig sabihin, how many zeros? 3. So, mag-move tayo ng 3 to the left or right? Yes, to the left. So, ito, ibig sabihin, magiging 0. So, we have 0 0.808 meters. Ibig sabihin, ang 800 millimeter, ay 808 rather, millimeter, is equivalent to 0 0.808 meter. Nakuha. Okay. In number 2, example. So, in number 2, so 14.6 kilometer is equivalent to how many decameter? Okay. So, paano natin ito makukuha? Paano natin ito i-convert? So, paano natin ito i-convert? So, alam naman natin na kapag ang 1 kilometer is equivalent to 100 decameter. Nakuha. So, ngayon, i-multiply natin sa 14.6 kilometer. Ayan, it times. So, 100 decameter over, ayan, 100 decameter is equivalent to 1 kilometer. Okay. Nasundan nyo ba? Ah, i-cancel natin yung kilometer. So, ang naiwan ay, ano? Okay, so we have 14.6 times 100 decameter. Ayan, decameter. Okay. Han, i-multiply natin. Ayan, anong sagot? So, paano natin mag-multiply? Ito, ito lang ang tatandaan. Ayan, kapag mag-multiply tayo ng 
um, numbers, for example, zeros, i-count natin yung how many zeros in 100s so we have dalawa. So, mag-move tayo to the right ng two decimal places. So, one, two. So, ibig sabihin, magdagdag ka ng zero. So, ngayon, ang ating sagot ay 1,460. Kanina, nag-move tayo from right to the left kasi nag-divide tayo. Yan po ang technique. So, ngayon, kung mag-multiply tayo, mag-move tayo ng decimal from left to right. Kung ano, kung ilan ang mga zeros na yan, i-count natin yung zero. So, one, two. So, mag-move tayo ng decimal to places. Yan, one, two. So, magdagdag tayo ng zero. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating sagot ay 1,460 decameter. Nakuha. Okay, example number three. In number three, 109 cc. Ano nga bang cc? Cubic centimeter is equivalent to how many milliliter? So, hinahanap natin yung milliliter dyan. So, paano natin yan i-convert? So, we have, kung meron tayong, remember that kung meron tayong 1 ml or 1 milliliter is equivalent to what? How many cubic centimeters? So, 1 cubic centimeter. Nakuha. And then, i-convert lang natin. So, we have 109 cubic centimeter. Multiply na natin sa, ayan, 1 ml or milliliter over 1 cubic centimeter. So, we have... Cancel natin cc, cubic centimeter. And nagiging 10 times 1 ml. So, we have 109 rather, 109 ml. Ayan. Over 1. So, nagiging 109 divide 1. That is 109 ml or milliliters. Ibig sabihin, so 109 cubic centimeter is equivalent to 109 ml or milliliter. Nakuha. Okay. Example number 4. So, number 4. 8 tablespoon equal how many milliliter? So, alam naman natin kapag ang 1 tablespoon is equivalent to 15 ml. ba? So, i-multiply na natin yung 8 tablespoon. Ayan, i-multiply lang natin sa ayan, 15 ml over Ayan, 15 ml is equivalent to 1 tablespoon. Ayan, ako ha? Okay, so it... Ayan, cancel natin yung tablespoon. Ayan. So, next, ano ang dapat natin gawin? So, multiply na natin. So, 8 times 15, that is... Exactly, so 120 ml over 1. So, ang ating sagot ay... Very good. So, 120 ml ml or milliliter. So, ibig sabihin, sa 8 tablespoon is equivalent to 120 milliliter. Nakuha. Okay, example number 5. So, in number 5, 15.5 liter equal blank gallon. So, ibig sabihin, hinahanap natin yung gallon. So, now, alam naman natin kapag ang 1 gallon, 1 gallon ay equivalent to what? 1 gallon is equivalent to 3.8 liter. Nakikita niyo ba yan? Yung mga bumili kayo ng mga 1 gallon ice cream, di ba merong 3.8 liter? Di ba? So, ngayon, i-multiply lang natin. So, i-multiply lang natin. So, we have 15.5 liter times 1 gallon over, 1 gallon is equivalent to 3.8 liter. Ah, i-cancel natin yung liter. Ayan, so, ang naiwan ay Ano na? 15.5 times 1, that is 15.5 gallon over 3.8. And, i-divide natin yung 15.5 over 3.8. So, ang ating sagot ay 4.078. Or, kung ang teacher nyo po ay magsabi na round off to the nearest two digits, ibig sabihin, kung i-round off natin yan, ano magiging sagot? So, we have 4.070 Are you sure? 0 0.4.07 magiging 8. So, we have 4.08 gallons. So, ibig sabihin, ang 15.5 liter ay equivalent to 4.08 gallon. Bakit 8 dito, sir? Kasi po, kapag 5, 6, 7, 8 ang kasunod sa ating nearest round off, ibig sabihin, magdagdag tayo ng 1. Kapag 4 below, apat ng ating run-offs, ibig sabihin, still pa rin ang ating given. Nakuha. 
Okay. Example number six. So in 3,569 seconds, equal how many days? So inahanap natin yung araw. Ilang nga ba ang araw sa, ilang nga ba ang days or araw sa 300, uh, 3,569 seconds rather. So, ilang nga ba? Alam naman natin kapag ang 60 second is equivalent to 1 minute. ba? Diba? How about what if in 300 in 1 hour how many seconds? So we have 3600 second is equivalent to what? It's equivalent to 1 hour. What? So in one day, how many seconds? So in one day, kung one day siya, how many seconds? So 86,400. So bakit? Saan nga ba yan nakakuha niya? 3,600 seconds, sir. And 86,400. Ganito kasi yon. Ang one minute, how many seconds? How many seconds in one minute? So we have, meron tayong 60. So ngayon, so one minute, meron tayong 60 seconds. How about kung one hour? So i-multiply na natin, 60 times 60 nagiging ayan may yung 6 times 6 that is 36 so kaya nga 3,600 seconds in 1 hour so in 1 day how many seconds so bakit ganito sir 86,400 so mag times tayo ng 60 alright 0 0 0 6 6 6 6 6 6 ayan 6 times 3 that is 18 19 ayan so we have So, ngayon, kaya nga, si 86,000. So, nakuha. So, ngayon, i-convert na natin. Ayan, i-convert na natin. So, sa 3,569 second times, ayan, ang hinahanap natin is days. So, in one day, over 86,400. Ayan, nakuha. Ngayon, second. Cancel out natin yung seconds. Ang naiwan ay So we have Ano? So 33,569 Over 86 Ayan, hindi makita dito Ayan, hindi makita So we have 3,569 Over 86,400 So divide natin yan So ano ang result natin? Ito ay nagiging what? 0.04 days. So, ibig sabihin ng 3,569 seconds, ito ay equivalent in 0.04 days. Nakuha. Okay, we will continue this one next meeting. And that's all for today. At sana meron kayong napupulot na aral sa ating uh, tutorial ngayon. Once again, this is Teacher JM. See you to my next vlog. Bye-bye. I'm back. Ayan. Kung nakatulong po ito sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher GM. Laging nasasabing, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral na mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye.